Well, welcome. Uh, this, I'm at the Noblesville locker room here with uh, uh, Coach Jason Simmons. Welcome, Coach. Perry, it's great to have you. I, it's uh, football season if you're back in the office and we're having our weekly conversation. It's uh, certainly an exciting time for us. Oh, absolutely. Great time for, uh, for everyone. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, a lot of people are getting all excited about what's going on right now, but uh, there were several things that uh, led up to uh, in the summer months that some of the kids did and including community service. Let's talk a little bit about that before we get rolling. Yeah, I feel like our program has grown a tremendous amount over the last 12 months. When you look at all the things that we've asked our kids to do, you know, giving of themselves was priority number one for us. You know, when we talked to all of our kids at the end of last season, we, we felt like our program needed to embrace work. We felt like we needed to increase our player to player accountability. And we wanted to create and drive selfless young men uh, you know, our program put in over 700 man hours of community service from the end of last season until uh, last week when we started school back up and proud of them for that because we were in so many different parts of the community giving that community service time up that, you know, it, it helps our kids understand the, the, the support and the encouragement they have from this community. And, and you and I know it's, it, it's a football town, but our kids started to learn that the more and more that we pushed them out into the community. And that, that was a big deal for us. And that's a good opportunity for them to meet uh, people that they haven't met before. And, you know, the one thing about it that you got all over about uh, what you said a while ago, uh, uh, we need to embrace work and compete every day. And, and that's you're teaching them that's the way in life, too. Oh, it, day, is, it is a life lesson. You yeah. grow by being uncomfortable as a person and being, being pushed into situations that may not may not be in your wheelhouse. You, you learn a lot You learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about other people. And for us, you know, our kids have grown a tremendous amount. And, uh, you know, we built our preseason schedule based strictly on competition. We just wanted our kids to go compete. Uh, you've been to practice enough to know that we're, we're competing as much as we can while still stressing the fundamentals and the little things and making sure that we get our special teams working too. Oh yeah, I mean, I could definitely see the uh, the intensity level is, has been raised this second year for you and, and I think the kids uh, know what to expect from you and you know what to expect from them and you know I, I've been amazed also with uh, the participation of your parents and the fans and everything. That, that cleanup day at, uh, at Hare Chevrolet Field was uh, it was quite a meaningful day. I mean, you know, you had a lot of people. Probably, I could say, Coach, right around 100 people that were there working to, to clean up and, and put the pride back in in, in, in Air Chevrolet Field. Yeah, when you when you look at what it takes to run a program, you you have to have your stakeholders completely invested in believing in the mission. And the mission for us is simple. We want to build the best football program we, we can while building the best young men that we can. And our parents are completely supportive of what we're doing. We have a great group of parents, and you know I could start to single them out individually, but it's more than just three or four or five parents. You know we have a collective group uh, truly, truly take, trying to take our program to a completely different level. And the, the support they've given, whether it's at Hare Field, whether it's movie night, whether it's all of the different things that we've done, NFL day or Noblesville football day that we just had this past Saturday, all of that was all of that was parent driven and uh, we wouldn't certainly be in the place we are without the parent support that we had. And I know it was a great thrill uh, uh, right before the scrimmage of the elementary football league how you sent some of the players over to each one of the huddles and stuff and and uh, they talk to the kids and help them out a little bit. That means a lot to a young man that's in the, in the first, second, third, fourth grade. I mean, that's huge. It, it absolutely does. I still remember the first time I went to a Ron Colley game. I still remember, you know, standing in line, wanting to get my hand slapped by, you know, by oh, one of the varsity players at Ron Colley. The impact that our kids have on, on those younger, those younger Noblesville football players coming up is immeasurable. Uh, and that's that's important for our kids to know and understand that. And you know, our kids did a tremendous job, you know, hanging out really with the young kids, and yeah. you know, it, it speaks to the character of the kids that we have. But you you well know. I mean, you have some great young kids in the locker room right now. But it's obvious uh, by working around the parents and everything like we've had here for the last couple of years that the apple didn't fall far from the tree. That they're great parents. 
and now you need to raise kids. Yeah, we, we're certainly benefiting from not only the parent support, but also the work that our parents have done raising the young kids and supporting our efforts too. You know, we, we're, we're trying to push them to, to make great decisions, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's in the hallways, whether it's on the practice field, whether it's in a game situation. For us, it's, it's all about being responsible and making sure that we generate the best young men that we have. And our parents have certainly given us a great foundation to work from. Absolutely. Now let's talk a little bit. Let's switch to now. Uh, practice here tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, Friday we're going to uh, the scrimmage uh, North Central at North Central. Talk a little bit about that because I, I, you know, I noticed, you know, watching the kids, they're ready to hit somebody else. They're trying to hit all their, yeah, we, their buddies that they go to school with all the time. We've created enough. We've created enough competition in the practice situations that they are getting tired of, of each other. You yeah. know, the, the, all, all of the chirping that's been going on the last couple of days and practice and even going back to last week, uh, the level of competition is certainly heightened um, and, and we are ready to hit somebody else. You know, it's going to be an improved North Central team. Uh, they have a lot coming back from last year. I mean, we saw them in the scrimmage. Uh, different mindset, different approach with them right now with, with Coach O'Shea taking the reins over this offseason. Uh, and so it, it's going to be a great test for us. We've identified some areas coming off of our black and gold scrimmage this week that we had to get better at, uh, that we had to, we had to see improvement, and we had to emphasize in our coaching this week. And so we're working to get that done right now. Uh, but I think I, I, some of those areas are really going to be put to test on Friday night against North Central. Now, North Central game time, coach. Seven o'clock is the is the start time for the scrimmage. Uh, where they, um, you know, we Coach Shea, Coach O'Shea and I have deviated. Uh, from what the IHSAA has scripted uh, with their permission. Uh, we're going to run uh, a 15-play segment um, right out of the gate with our ones. We're going we're gonna to take the goal line segment out and just put the ball in the middle of the field uh, and, and work more middle of the field situations. The nice thing about this scrimmage is that it, it's true down and distance situations. You know, when we had penalties last week in the black and gold, as you know, Perry, we didn't mark those penalties off and put our kids behind the chains a bunch. Probably should have. Uh, but we wanted to track and chart the penalties more so than, than enforce them. Uh, we're going to have the opportunity to do that this Friday, and so it, it, it's going to give us a it's going to give us a different face, which is critical to us. It's important that our kids are ready for that, but it's also just going to give us that game feel um, from pregame meetings to loading up the bus to to going through the actual pregame itself. And you, it's one of those opportunities, especially with our younger with our younger kids, just to teach them how we do things. Yeah, because I think that's important. I, I don't really think that uh, a common fan sitting in the stands realizes how much prep goes into. I mean, you have a very, very strict routine that uh, when those kids get out of school, things that they have to follow and their meals and making sure that uh, they're properly hydrated and everything. And uh, uh, you know, we've been blessed so far this year. Tim uh, uh, weather's, been, weather's been unbelievable, but that could switch. Tomorrow. Week two or week three, really. I mean, you know, no it could get really hot and you have to adjust and, and, and those type of things. And, uh, you know, uh, you have to get in a routine, and that's important. And so we'll start this weekend Teaching against that, North that Central. That, week prep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that. Now, will you still come back on Saturday and we check will, the injuries? We, and hopefully, we're going to call, like, call it a, what we call a game week Saturday okay. for us. And so our varsity guys will be in. They'll be in film, and then we'll, we'll go run them and condition them and stretch them out. Um, and then our, our JV and freshmen are going to have a brief scrimmage Saturday morning just to kind of get them a game feel because our JV kids will have to get used to waking up and going at 10 o'clock because that's new to them. Yeah, that's, that's when they um, Not new to them this year, but it's new to their body clocks, and so that'll be important as well. Uh, yeah, and uh, of course, I you know, I spend a lot of time up in the weight room too and watching you guys condition, and I tell you what, there's some bodies that that if you saw those kids last year compared to this year, it's made a huge difference because Paul fans up there. And I think it's, it's been a good summer. It's, it's really been a great off season for us in the weight room. That was the one place, you know, when we, when we got done talking to our kids and we, we developed this plan and we got to embrace work, we got to hold each other accountable. Well, the weight room was the first place that we could start to embed that into who we are as a football team and who we are as a football program. And, you know, Coach, Coach Clark is second to none when it comes to high school strength coaches, really across the entire country. And 
he he understood the, the the mission and the vision for this off season, and so he helped drive that and embed that in our kids, not only in athletics weight in the athletic weights class, but also after school, when our program was in there, whether it was with baseball or with basketball, that embracing work, hold each other accountable, was something that we truly developed throughout our program, and our kids saw the the rewards from that because their bodies changed, their confidence grew. And so we've had to take that same mantra this summer and into the preseason, and that's really what's driven all the competition and practices, just developing that sense of accomplishment in our kids and that can-do attitude. Absolutely. Uh, Coach, uh, first first game of the season, uh, uh, as of norm, Lawrence North, and uh, Coach Mowry's turned that program around down there at Lawrence North. It's heading in the right direction. I mean, this is a team that beat state champion Carmel Greyhounds early in the season last year so this is a good football player and he's building a program down there. Yeah they certainly have it rolling down there when you look at the history of the rivalry right now all three games that we've had yeah. have been one score games you know we were fortunate enough to score late twice in the first two games of the series uh, I don't I don't see this one being any different you know I know they graduated a big a big senior class uh, however you know, they, they just looking at them at the JV level a year ago and looking at the number of underclassmen they played, they have a lot of talent coming back. They have a lot of, they have some depth in the skill positions coming back. Uh, we're going to have our hands full. We're going to have our hands full. We've started that prep already. Uh, obviously, next week it'll be a normal game week for us uh, in season. And so uh, we're going we're to do, best, best, do the best we can to put the best plan together to give our kids a chance. And we'll be at home that first game, which yeah. is always great. And I'm telling you, fans, if you have not seen the turf on Hare Chevrolet uh, Field, you're going to be, uh, it's going to be a big surprise in, in the whole area. I mean, the landscaping and the outside and, and how the parents and the fans have taken the pride in the kids of, of cleaning that place up. I just, I, I think you're going to be impressed and, and I think you're going to have an enjoyable evening uh, when Lawrence North comes to town. It's going to be an EFL night as well, and so we'll, we're going to have the the, the, the present. Um, we're going to have the present of Noblesville football, the future of Noblesville football, and hopefully we'll have the past of Noblesville football up there supporting the Millers. Yeah, let's hope so because uh, it's going to be a fun time, and I think it's going to be a great season, Coach. We're, we're certainly going to give it a shot. Yeah, because you know that you know it doesn't come in, it never comes easy in the Hoosier Crossroad Conference, and no. then you throw in in Carmel uh, and as a non-conference game and then uh, a place where you started and many people up there still know you, Hamilton Heights, Coach Mitch Street, he'll, he'll strap them up and he'll come after you. He'll have them ready. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll have them ready. Yeah, he will. And so, well, good co talking to you, Coach, uh, uh, about uh, this week coming up for the scrimmage and in the first game. Uh, it, it's certainly exciting. Uh, Hopefully later on here in the season we'll get some of these seniors in here because you have a great group of seniors here and, and some good leaders on this football team in your junior and senior class. Absolutely. We, we have a bunch of great kids, and to showcase those guys would be an honor. Okay. Sounds good, Coach. See you later. See you in a week, buddy. All right, buddy. Thank you.